Hi, this is an open letter to parents of gay or lesbian children. It comes from a post that I had on my website some time ago, but I think it's very important for a lot of people to hear. Please excuse me if I need to use my notes. If you're not on good terms with your gay or lesbian child, you and your child will miss out. You more than your child. You will not be let in to his or her world and you will not be entrusted with their love. You will not be revered, respected, or cared about if you do not know what a gift your child is. The fact that he or she is gay takes away nothing from the priceless life you brought into the world. It is another facet of who your child is and another piece of the magnificent puzzle that I think life is. As my father said to my son, when my son told him that he was gay, grandson, that means as much to me as the color of your eyes. Of course, my father was an incredible man, just like my son. Homosexuality is not a choice. It is part of a human's makeup. Do you really believe that anyone wakes up one day and says to himself or to herself, hmm, I think that from now on I will conduct myself in a completely different and largely unacceptable manner. I will make myself become attracted to someone of my same sex and I will prefer things that are confusing to all who love me. I will fight the urges of my physiology, sexuality, and chemistry and do the exact opposite. I want to be someone who is often beat up harassed, and usually dismissed as being less than a human being. I want to be ridiculed and unloved by my parents and disciplined, sometimes unmercifully, for being other than what they had in mind when they created me. I want to be someone who is the object of hate, and so often of hate crimes. Think about that for a few seconds. What in the universe would be the gain of such actions? If you had been unsupportive of your child because he or she is gay, you've just plain been unsupportive of, of your child. If you have had angry thoughts or have chastised or punished your child because of their homosexuality, you have acted against the very essence of life. Your child may very well go on and thrive anyway. However, it will never be because of anything positive that you did on their behalf. It will be in spite of all you have done to bring down the very being to whom you gave life. My son and his partner, Sam, had their commitment ceremony over a year ago. They have also been married legally here in Los Angeles for over a year, and I'm looking forward to their second anniversary. <clears throat> As the most important icing on the wedding cake, they are now legally married. Sam is so amazing, I could not have asked for a better son-in-law. Every child teaches his or her parents many things. They teach us what a true love really is, how much of a child we always will be, and they teach us that the world is a wonderful place. They bring hope to the world while they bring validation to our existence. They are the children of the universe in the future and the reason to face another day. Depriving your child of your love, trust, affection, and esteem will cause you to wither and die. Very unfulfilled as a human, unloved by the very creature who was meant to love you unconditionally. Your days will echo with the laughter that might have been, and you will look forward to the night because it brings sleep, and with sleep, escape from the light. If you are concerned about what sexual acts take place behind the door of privacy, are you so certain that the acts you perform behind those doors, or even elsewhere, are those that you believe are someone else's business? If you show scorn to your homosexual child, or worse, you have done a crime against nature, 
Are you certain that it is wrong for two people to make love? Any two people? As long as they are of age? More wrong than two people bringing fear and pain to each other? Have you ever been cherished? I hope that I live long enough to see that marriage between same gender people is accepted in our culture. There are so many people who accept hate between people and murder between people. The old hippie saying of make love not war is more blistering a comment on these times than I would have ever imagined. If you want to lose your connection to the earth and to your time here, all you have to do is forsake your child. Do not get me wrong, there's nothing for you to forgive. However, there is much for your child to forget if you ever get the chance and if you ever see the light. I'm just a mom. I'm a very proud one. I'm also a mother-in-law. I'm Bronson's mother and Sam's mother-in-law. My name is Connie Van Dyke.